Well, now that the world is falling apart and no one can seem to agree what the color of the sky is. Tonight in Oregon, the largest wildfire in the country exploding in size. More than 65 major fires in western states that have burned close to a million acres. Are littered with hundreds of thousands of dead fish. I feel now was a right time to talk about delicate affair of relationships. Mind you, I've been out of one for nearly four years, and I am still completely aware that they require a lot of attention. I mean, a constant and dutiful attention to the other person's needs and wishes, and not to mention the juggling act of working with their schedule and how they view you, how you view them, how you think they view you, how they think you view you, and growing in the same way, having compatible personality traits, like is one super outgoing and one likes to stay home, is one more clean and tidy, than the other. It's not easy. But if there's one thing for certain is that American women in their 30s, as a prime example we'll listen to in just a moment, are neurotic, damaged, needy, and intolerable. Not to mention insufferable. Just a forewarning, Amber Heard is 35 years old. I'm 33, as I've mentioned several times in this space. And so hearing this is a lot of cringe. I am not certain what this woman is even thinking and behaving the way that she does. But all I know for certain is, is if I was put in this position, and mind you, I'm actually a decent fan of Johnny Depp for a while. When I was a young scallywag, I used to reel Pirates of the Caribbean on movie projectors and watch this behind the glass-paned window at the top of the theater. I guess the only warning I have here is, uh, well, if you are gonna get married, do know that it is one of the most important decisions of your life and you best be damn certain you know who you married or who they might become because, yeah, I'll just shut up. Let's get into it. We gotta change how we do things and I wanna trust you and I feel like all the trust is gone. All the fucking trust is gone in the relationship because you keep splitting. I'm not gonna be in a physical fucking altercation don't. with you. Then don't. You fucking hit me last night, you fucking... What about all the other times you split? Hey, come on, you cannot act like that. It's about that. It's well, not. Well, we're on a plane. I can't split. No, and you hit back. So don't act like you don't fucking participate. I pushed you. I'm not going to get into the details of that fight. You and I both know that you split when there is no physical violence involved. And that you do it and meet, like at the very beginning of fights these days. And if you split and you go into a different room and you don't actually leave that house, it does nothing but perpetuate the fight. Really, when you split on me, how do you feel when I leave you? When I split, I've left when I go into the other room, you say. And getting me a room, I mean getting another room in a hotel is just the same thing. When did I get another room at hotel? You uh, text Stephen or, or Nathan in Toronto to get you another room. You don't even know what you're talking about. You still haven't even told me what it is, but run with it. You I have told you what it is. No, you haven't. I said to Travis, I said, Good. no, I said to you, hey, okay. tell Travis what just happened. You oh, you careless. told me to do it. You yeah. told me to. You said, go do that. I said, no, t tell him what just happened. And I lied. And that you punched me in the you're fucking right. thing and you, you in the face. Out. And you said... No fucking! No, I didn't. What the fuck are you talking about? And I, I watched you lie, you. and then I, I didn't punch you. And by I, the way, you. I'm sorry that I didn't uh, you, uh, uh, punch hit you me. across the face in a proper slap, but I was hitting you. It was not punching you, babe. You're not punched. Don't tell me what it feels like to be punched. You, you know, even a lot of guys been around a long time. I know. Yeah, no, right? when you fucking have a closed fist. You get punched. You got hit. I'm sorry, I hit you like this, but I did not punch you. I did not fucking deck you. I fucking was hitting you. you can't I don't know deck what you. the boat motion of my actual hand was, but you're fine. I did not hurt you. I did not punch you. I was hitting you. How are your toes? How, what am I supposed to do? Do this? How are your toes? I, I'm not sitting here bitching about it, am I? You are. Oh, That's the difference between me toes. and you. You're a fucking baby. Because you start you physical are fights? You're such a baby! Because Call you, the fuck off! Because Tony. you start physical fights? I did start a physical fight. Yeah, you did, so I had because, to get the fuck out of there. Yes, you did. So you did the right thing, the big thing. The, you know what? You are admirable. Every single time. What, 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 what's your excuse when there's not a physical fight? Then what's the excuse that you're still being admirable, right? Just by running away? 
and you can sit here and, and call me names, but you get called a name, and what do you do? That's the last insult. You're a baby. You are a hypocrite. You don't do anything that you actually do. You expect from people what you can't give them. Uh, on a personal note, I'm just going to side with Johnny and say, yeah, I don't like violence with my partner ever. And unfortunately, I have been in a difficult relationship before, so I know how that can come about. However, nowadays, I'm much more aware and cognitive of that happening or the escalation to that and immediately seek to diffuse it because I don't want, I don't want this i don't want ever to be in that situation again i'm with johnny if something comes up i just i leave the room or i tell them to leave my place i'm not i'm not putting up with that you know what i'm saying all i want to do is is fuck and make love okay and help each other out be each other's partner okay that's not a small ask but i mean you know what i'm saying like can we just keep cool can we be cool and loving it's the end of the world do we really have to do this neurotic people who manipulate you and use words Avoid them. They're toxic at all costs. I don't know who's more stupid, Amber or Johnny, for getting involved with her. Because when you're getting up front, when you're getting involved with someone up front, you need to be very clear about your intentions and your behaviors and open, you know, about these sorts of red flags. Not immediately, obviously, but you know, when you're getting to know someone, at least get to know them for a year. I don't even know how long they, they were engaged or met for, but he clearly didn't do his due diligence because any man in my cohort today would see those signs from a mile away, okay? Come on, Johnny. You knew better. You knew better. You should have stayed with Winoa, okay? She's hot sauce. Don't get in toxic relationships. Do yourself a favor and don't get married. But if you do, I don't know, rethink it, okay? It's just a piece of paper. I'll talk to you guys later. Love and peace and all that other bullshit.